I mean, we 11 to 9. Um, you know, Jake gave up six hits. Uh, the only problem was five of them were homers. Uh, you know, you get to the point where, you, you know, you hear the old adage, solo homers, they won't beat you. But I guess when they hit four of them, they might. So, and then a two-run homer. But, yeah, we're just, you know, we're just struggling with runners in scoring position. Um, we're getting guys on. You know, we're getting opportunities. Um, we're just struggling to get that big hit. Yeah, is it a positive that these opportunities continue to present? Well, themselves? I don't know if I, how much of a positive it is, but it is. Yeah, I mean, as as long as the opportunities there are there, um, you know, you can make you can make something of it. Uh, but it's not a positive if you don't. So um, you know, we have to find ways. And a lot of times, again, it just you know we've seen it in so many years past, so many times where we've sat up here and talked about you know runners in scoring position. You know, it takes one big hit. And, um, then it kind of opens up the floodgates, and uh, we just need to get that one big hit. Those home runs for June is just poor location. Yeah, most of them. I haven't had a chance to review them, and I'll, I'll go back and look at them there. I, th I want to say four were on fastballs, and one was on a slider. I think Castillo uh, was on a slider. But, uh, yeah, pretty much a ball, mislocation balls. You, you, like you said, you've been through this many times before, but is that the most helpless feeling a manager has when you're just watching and a team can't get that big hit with runners in scoring position? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty helpless feeling because there's nothing you can really do. Um, you know, it, it, especially when you're struggling like this, you know, it's there, it's it's helpless on a couple of different levels, you know. You, you know, Jake gives up a home run to start the game. Okay, well, we're okay. Then boom, another home run, and then boom, another home run, and... We know that uh, you go back and look and see how many runs we've been scoring here lately. It hasn't uh, been over three. I don't remember the last time we scored over three runs. So it's like, okay, we've got a dogfight on our hands. Let's go. We can get hot. Um, you know, it just hasn't material materialized yet. Ned, you said before the game you can't just tell guys, hey, produce. But have you been happy with the situational hitting and the approach in situations like that with guys on base? Um you, you talking about moving runners and mostly hitting with yeah, I mean not, we're, we're not, we're not like, we're getting guys on base all right we're not getting guys in and that's what counts I mean runs run scores is what counts and um, you know am I pleased that we're getting in position yeah am I pleased that you know we're taking advantage um, you know um, in some opportunities with sack flies or big base hits like Esky got you know, in the, in the eighth inning there with the bases loaded, we just couldn't capitalize after that. Um, moving runners, uh, you, you know, um, Esky did a great job with the runner on second, moving them to third situationally. But for the most part, uh, we can be better. Matt, I guess the one silver lining the last couple of days is the bullpen's kind of settled in. They haven't they've kept it there for you. A little bit, yeah. It's, a, it's something to build off of, I think. Um, you know, Brian Flynn came in, did a great job tonight uh, holding the fort. We needed to get Cal in the game. You know, and today was his fourth day, and we needed to get him in there and get him pitching. So, uh, you know, the bullpen's starting to settle down a little bit, which is, you're right, it's a little bit of a silver lining.